Yesterday, the BCS Presidential Oversight Committee approved a plan for a four-team college football playoff, but that wasn't the only decision the commissioners made. The presidents also rejected the Mountain West's request for a waiver that would have allowed a conference a guaranteed spot in the bowl championship series. The MWC failed to meet the criteria for an automatic berth, but still performed well enough to apply for an exemption. This means in order for Boise State to make it into one of the five BCS Bowls this season, the Broncos will not only have to win the Mountain West, they'll also have to finish in the top 12 in the polls. BSU could also be an at-large selection if they win at least nine games and finish in the top 14. The Big East is one of the six conferences that retain an automatic qualification into the Big Money Bowls, so the requirements would change for the Bronco football program if they elect to move to the Big East, and that decision still hasn't been made official. I tried to sort out this mess with Brian Murphy of the Idaho Statesman this afternoon. Brian, the Mountain West was denied an exemption that would have allowed the conference an automatic spot in the BCS games. Now, does this push Boise State even further in the direction of the Big East? Um, I think Boise State was headed to the Big East anyhow, but I think this is sort of you know, one of the negotiating ploys that the Mountain West was using to try to keep Boise State. Hey, we might have BCS AQ status for the next two years. Why don't you stick around and be a lot more money in your pocket? Obviously, they don't have that. Uh, the Big East will have it in 2013, and then in 2014, uh, everybody will enter this brave new world of a playoff system. That's kind of the point, though. The Big East would only have that AQ status for one season, so is that even worth it for Boise State? Um, I, you know, this all comes down to television money, at least in my mind, and I think in Boise State's mind. If the Big East television contract is 6 to $8 million, like they've said it would be, then, then it's a no-brainer to go to the, big, uh, to the Big East. Now, the deadline's looming for the football program to announce whether or not it is leaving the Mountain West. It seemed like a sure thing. Is that not the case anymore? I still think it's a sure thing, or, or at least a, a very good possibility of it happening. Uh, I do think Boise State fans need to be prepared for the possibility that Boise State withdraws from the Mountain West before the July 1st deadline, but doesn't know where it's going to place its Olympic sports teams at that point. I still think there's an imperative to get out in the Mountain West. The Big East will have a better strength of schedule for Boise State, and strength of schedule is certainly going to be a component when the selection committee sits down to decide. Uh, I think a playoff is better for Boise State's chances of playing for a national championship. Obviously, it's easier to get to number four than it is to get to number two. And in some ways, I think a selection committee um, you know, will have some human biases, but those may help Boise State. We should find out if Boise State is leaving the Mountain West by the end of the month. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Hey, thank you.